Today we will discuss the importance of clean network traffic and TIM. The best place to begin is defining what clean network traffic means. Most CEM problems happen because the network traffic forwarded to the TIM is not of high integrity. High integrity network traffic is complete, meaning containing all data packets, unbroken, and when heavy volume, not overly misaligned. Problems occur when the TIM receives incomplete and modified network data instead of a true copy. Standard network traffic is a bi-directional full duplex communication flow. Data is sent and received between a client and an application server. The TCP IP protocol, which needs two communications partners, handles transmission errors. TCP IP detects when packets are lost, dropped, or missing, and retransmits them. A mirror port sends a copy of packets from one switch to a port on the destination or monitor device. In a Cisco environment, port mirroring is accomplished with the switch port analyzer span feature. Span lets you copy traffic from physical ports on a switch to another port on that switch. Now that we understand what clean network traffic means, let's discuss if the TIM can clean up bad network data or find missing data. The TIM needs a true copy of network traffic for accurate monitoring and reporting. When the TIM receives broken traffic and cannot see the request header, it ignores the conversation. If the TIM sees the request header, but only part or none of the response header, the TIM generates a defect. Traffic can be incomplete due to losses happening on the copied traffic, port oversubscription, or microbursts. In this situation, the TIM is not detecting and monitoring a true copy of the network traffic, which can cause false positives. Losing a few packets results in a similar version of the network traffic, not in a true copy. When the data providing infrastructure causes data losses, the TIM monitoring of that traffic reports false positive errors about the copy traffic flow, not the real traffic. Note that the TIM can only monitor what it sees. If the traffic is incomplete or broken, it is not detecting and monitoring based on a true copy of the network traffic. This problem is not with the TIM, but with the data providing infrastructure. Next, let's ask the question, what are the implications for TIM or MTP if network traffic is bad? You can see the following problems when the traffic forwarded to the TIM is of low integrity. Inability to record transactions, inability to monitor transactions, HTTPS traffic cannot be decrypted or can only be partially decrypted. SSL errors are recorded in TIM logs. Partial or missing component defects fill the incidents at a tremendous speed. When the TIM reports these defects during peak times, the mirrored port equipment is probably overloaded and drops traffic. Another problem is the out-of-order queued bytes queue gets higher. The TIM must rearrange packets into the right order to be able to analyze the data. TIM requires memory to buffer misaligned packets. Check the out-of-order queued bytes in the TIM log. An increasing buffer queue indicates that the data getting to the TIM is misaligned. For example, the end of a web page is arriving before the beginning. When the out-of-order queued bytes buffers are higher, look for a problem on the data providing infrastructure. Poor quality traffic to the data collection device capture port introduces false defects. When packets are dropped, TIM does not see a true copy of the data. The TIM generates defects that are not in the real traffic, but only in the incomplete copy it receives. TIM must see the full bi-directional data exchange. When one direction is missing, the TIM generates missing transaction defects. For example, when responses from application server to the client are missing. When the TIM only sees responses, the TIM cannot identify any transactions. The situation also affects the TIM integration with CA multi-port monitor. When there are only requests or responses, the CA multi-port monitor MTP TIM analysis page menu graphs are blank. When these problems occur, TIM is reporting on low integrity data and cannot report real monitoring data. The timing of the TIM reporting is delayed. Another question that arises when talking about clean network traffic in TIM is what are OOO packets and how can you find them on the TIM and MTP? OOO packets, or out of order packets, is when the delivery of data packets is different from the order in which they were sent. While operational, the TIM is monitoring continuous TCP connections while looking for HTTP, HTTPS, flex traffic. 
As it does this, it keeps a running counter of the TIM packets that are not arriving in order, that are queued up for processing. The TIM will discard the out-of-order buffer of a partial communication flow after a predefined time to free up buffer space for the next out-of-order traffic, leading to that dropped communication to not be analyzed at all. By looking at this data in the TIM log, as well as in the TIM status page, or the TIM unsupported packet statistics page, you can see such things as if your out-of-order queued data is high or low, if there are a lot or few out-of-order connections, or if there are few or many out-of-order connections starting to close. Another great question that needs to be answered is, how can you detect that network traffic is dirty? OOQB is an indicator on how many open sessions with missing packets the TIM has in its buffers. Note that the TIM is unable to tell if a packet is only out of order, or if it was lost due to port oversubscription or a microburst, or really lost. If the out of order buffer queue is getting too large, the TIM will spend more time trying to fix the traffic than to actually analyze traffic. To be able to analyze any traffic, the TIM requires all complete packets from a communication. If these are incomplete, the session will be buffered in the OOQB until the missing packets are hopefully delivered by the SPAN provider. Using a PCAP, you can also see if there are missing data segments and bytes. I think the last question to address is what can you do about dirty network traffic? Use this best practice solution for providing a copy of real traffic to a TIM probe. A network tap installed in inline mode and forwarding two data streams to the TIM. One data stream for the TX traffic, one for the RX traffic will be required. Thank you for watching this video. We hope this has answered your questions about clean network traffic and TIM. For additional resources, please visit our Doc Ops page or our communities page. For more CA application performance management videos, subscribe to the CA APM channel on YouTube. For more detailed information on CA application performance management, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page. From there, you can go to product documentation, visit CA communities, or see the learning path.